Hello, this is Peter from Ultimate Marketing Strategies and in this video I'm going to be taking an initial look at the new Majestic SEO Keyword Checker which was released a few hours ago from when this video was made. So if we go to the Majestic SEO homepage now, we'll notice in the search field there it now has you can enter a domain or a search phrase. Uh, you can also access the Keyword Checker tool off the tools menu there. So if we use, uh, I'll use an example, coffee cups. Um, you can enter, if you go into the keyword checker directly or you uh, click on the add or edit keywords, you can add, add up to 50 keywords as a, as a uh, free member and you can add in more um, keywords depending on your subscription level. Okay, so what it has up here, the two, broad, uh, two main tabs here for broad match and phrase match results. Uh, in most cases, you'd, you'd want to be looking at phrase matches. Now, the idea behind Keyword Checker is it, um, it allows you to compare the competition of a particular set of keywords. Uh, probably makes more sense if I add a couple of extra keywords in there. So if I add some related ones, I'll put in coffee mugs and coffee machines. <laughs> so I'll add that to the list. Okay, so um, what we've got here, that I'll, look, I'll go through each of the columns. So search volume. Now most people are used to search volume being expressed in number of searches per month or, or, or daily searches. Um, the one thing that's not clear, well it's add certainly at the moment, uh, is this particular figure here is a number between 1 and 100, so it's a relative number. So that just indicates uh, here, for example, coffee machines gets more search volume than coffee mugs and coffee cups. Okay, and then we've got these two um, sections here split up into domains and URLs. So in each of these columns, we have the number of um, in anchor, in title, in URL and the combination of in anchor and title figures. So, for example, in this one for coffee cups, according well according to the data that SEO Majestic uses, uh, that uh, term appears in the anchor anchor text on just over four thousand different domains. It's similar similar sort of figures here for you know, URLs. So, uh, coffee cups. Uh, Thirteen and a half thousand um, uh, backlinks with 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 that uh, anchor text in it, and similar you know, numbers for the title. We've got almost six thousand for six thousand domains with coffee cups in the title. Uh, URLs thirty six and a half thousand, and uh, URL yeah that's the number of times the keyword appears in the actual URL in a combination. Now. It's important to note that, um, for, let's go to broad matches. Now, if we have a look, let, let's take an example here of coffee cups. So if we look at um, the number of times Majestic SEO says that appears in the title, we've got uh, just over 123,000. Now, they're using, obviously using their own data because uh, before I was looking over in Google and you get quite different results there. So um, if we do a all in title search for coffee cups, you see there that Google reports about 371,000. So if we're comparing that to the um, Majestic SEO data, uh, it's 123,000 or 123,500. So there's yeah, they're, they're obviously using uh, different sources for their data. Um, <clears throat> but in reality, the, these numbers don't really mean a great deal because you really need some reference point. That's why if you're only putting in a single keyword and looking at this data, it doesn't really tell you a great deal. You need to be putting in a, a whole set of uh, keyword, related keywords. Um, not particularly sure how useful this data is, to be honest. Um, I mean, if I was looking at this now, it doesn't really tell me uh, how difficult any of those keywords are just by looking at these figures. I mean, I can certainly tell that 
uh, ranking for coffee machines is going to be more difficult than coffee mugs or coffee cups. So, yeah, it, it's it's probably useful in, in terms of relative comparison. Now, to be fair, it is a very new tool, and there will be a lot more um, features added to it over time. And you know, it, it's probably worth revisiting the tool in a, in the month or so to see what sort of things have uh, added to it. Okay, well, hopefully that gives you a, a brief overview of the tool and uh, give it a try, see what you think. Um, on their blog, you can add suggestions as to what sort of features uh, you, you want added to it, so hopefully they'll, they'll take heed of some of those. Okay, this is Peter from Ultimate Marketing Strategies, and thanks for watching this video.